the WBC post and celebrates Jack Johnson on Instagram, but mysteriously don't use a picture of Deontay Wilder or Lennox Lewis. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We working. Sign up for Patreon link below. To become a YouTube channel member, hit the join button. Let's get it cracking. WBC verify page. They posted this. I'm going to jump right into the action. It's a picture of Mauricio Suleiman and his brother with President Trump. This is from the day that President Trump, Donald Trump, pardoned Jack Johnson. And they have a lengthy post, which I'm not going to read everything. But it says, Jack Johnson, the black boxer who sparked race riots after his world heavyweight win. They published an article about the pardon of Jack Johnson, yada, yada, yada. And you notice the names in here. Bronze Bomber, that's Deontay Wilder, if I click on it. Sylvester Stallone, uh, you know I got the eye of the tiger. And Lennox Lewis. And WBC President Mauricio Suleiman with his brother, right? And this whole post is a long, dedicated post to Jack Johnson. It says Jack Johnson was a boxing champion who was unfairly trialed for being black. Hashtag WBC, hashtag boxing. No Jack Johnson hashtags or anything else, right? But the, the funny thing and ironic thing, and you tell me in the comment section, is the WBC is posting this, and I remember this day distinctly. Deontay Wilder was there. Lennox Lewis was there, which is why they're in the tags. And also Sylvester Stallone, among a few other people. I feel it's no coincidence that you use the picture that doesn't show the actual black heavyweights. I think this is by design. Listen, Jack Johnson dealt with oppression and he dealt with segregation and systemic racism, right? And to honor him, because it's the 4th of July where he knocked out Jeffries, who was called the Great White Hope. And just so you guys know, so we're all transparent with history. Jack Johnson... I want everyone to be on the same page. New media. July 4th fight. So you guys understand this. Jim Jeffries, right? In 1910, they fought. So, actually, let me go to this. Let me go to this. This is his, his history. American history, right? So... The footage depicts heavyweight championship that took place Reno, Nevada, 4th of July, 1910. Reigning champion Jack Johnson, the, the black American, knocked out a former champion, James J. Jeffries, a white American, in the 15th round of a very one-sided fight. The fight was already a media sensation weeks before it happened, and it was dubbed the fight of the century. So this is all history, right? And look, since Johnson, Jack Johnson was African-American, and Jeffrey was the was the white competent was white with the competition. It took on major racial overtones. The press dubbed Jeffrey's quote the Great White Hope. So don't say I'm race baiting. This is history. You have to know your history like me, right? So this was a fight that at the time, based on where the world was, which we see we haven't fully been removed from this, was dubbed the fight of the century. Because you had an upstanding black African-American who was bold. He was considered cocky to some. And he was a great fighter. Fighting this white fighter, Jeffries, in Reno, Nevada. I think he had like 20,000 plus people. And they called him the great white hope. Right? Because they wanted anybody to be able to beat this outspoken, brash person. Now, that's a quick history lesson. You have to watch... Um, you know, you have to watch some of the documentaries like the PBS one and things like that if you want more on that. But knowing the overtones and the, you know, what was going on and even talking about it in the post, I find it ironic that you have two black heavyweights, Lennox Lewis and Deontay Wilder, that were with you and with the WBC in the Oval Office with Trump to pardon Jack Johnson. And you chose this picture. Tell me this is a coincidence. Now, 
even deeper, the WBC just did an interview with Sky Sports, right? Tyson Fury denial of glove tampering receives full support from Mauricio Suleiman, right? So just so we're on the up and up. WBC backs Tyson Fury. Boom. Google. So we're on the same page. Whose video appears on the first page of Google? Me. That's who. New media. We control the narrative. We on the first page. Box of Ego four days ago. So I made this video talking about Mauricio Suleiman's standpoint from that article. He backed, he fully backed Tyson Fury when Glovegate came out and he says this is a non-issue. If you think Glovegate is real, then you're stupid, you're irresponsible, and you know, it's nonsense. You should pay it no mind, right? Here's the video of him saying this, right? And Wilder has been a great champion with the WBC, 10 title defenses. He was like tying Muhammad Ali and all kinds of stuff. He was knocking pretty much everybody out, right? He didn't get Bermain Stavern the first time, but he definitely got him the second time, but he was winning. And the WBC decides, let's leave out the black heavyweights while we'll talk about a historic black heavyweight and all these racial undertones. Listen, this looks extremely weird to me. Post George Floyd, this stuff looks weird to me. And I would have to say it's by design. We could take it a step further. Let's type in the Jack Johnson pardon, right? Boom. So Jack Johnson pardon WBC just so you guys have a full scope on what i'm talking about you'll find all articles right la times let's see what picture they decide to use right jack johnson pardon let's see if they have any pictures in here lance pugmire when he was with them okay they don't have any pictures in the article we're gonna move on oh oh they used a tweet look so there's a picture with mauricio suleiman and Deontay Wilder and Lennox Lewis. So why would you, out of all the pictures that are available, exclude Deontay Wilder and Lennox Lewis, you know, the actual future Jack Johnson-esque fighters, right? And post a picture of just you, your brother, and Trump, right? Let's just go to images. Let's see what comes up. Oh, look. Out of all the pictures, look at, look at all these pictures. Wilder's in that one. Sly Stallone. Lennox Lewis. They're in all these pictures. Look, these are just random ja about the Jack Johnson. Simple Google search. Simple Google search. And like I said, Suleiman's in some of, um, some of them too, if he had to be in the picture. That looks weird, bro. Look, these are great. And, and the funny thing is a lot of these are better pictures for if, if this is about Jack Johnson and not publicity and stuff. You chose this picture out of all pictures where it's just you and your brother and Trump. That to me, that looks like it's by design because these are better pictures. Look, C SPAN used this. Lennox Lewis, Sly, Suleiman's still there, Trump's right there, Wilder's there. You you left Wilder out and you left Lennox Lewis, the last black undisputed champion. You left him out. It's looking shaky. I just feel like out of all these pictures, what a coincidence you left Wilder out a week after you backed Tyson Fury. Things like that. So, let me know what you guys think. I think that's by design. Shout out to Jack Johnson. And I, I think, to me, the thing that doesn't make sense is, if you look at Jack Johnson and what he endured, stay tuned to the end of this video, you can honestly say and draw parallels to what Wilder's currently enduring. You know, the hate, the um, looking for, you know, especially, so I think that's the, mo that's the most clever parallel. You see what I'm saying? Tyson Fury is a Caucasian British man. Wilder is an outspoken black man. Jack Johnson was an outspoken black man, you know? And co coincidentally, what a quinky dink, the WBC, they don't do like a slide with multiple shots and angles. It, it looks like they left Wilder out, particularly, and Lennox Lewis. And to me, that doesn't make sense when there's better pictures and they're part of black history and they're part of black heavyweight history and you're talking about what jack johnson endured so this to me this is kind of um, a shot at wilder that's how i look at it it doesn't make sense to exclude 
them when we're talking about a black heavyweight who endured the hardships and the struggles that he endured. What better person than a Wilder? I, I've said this on my channel many times that Wilder's kind of like this generation's Muhammad Ali. Not that they fight alike, but he's outspoken, just like Jack Johnson, speaks his mind, brash. He has charisma. You know, he's pulling up to the weigh-in with the fur coats and stuff. You know, he got swag, just like Jack Johnson. So let me know what it is in the comment section. But I think this looks, especially post George Floyd, I think this looks extremely weird that out of all the pictures we've seen, you use the ones without the celebrities like Sylvester Stallone and Wilder and and another black heavyweight in Lennox Lewis. That's the one picture you decide to use. So I don't know if they're mad at Wilder, but they seem they seem like they're not feeling Wilder right now. I don't know why, because I don't know what Wilder did. Uh, he has. And the funny thing is, Wilder ain't even said nothing. But if you look at history and you look at the Jack Johnson and what he's enduring and look at Wilder and tell me you don't see comparisons and similarities. That's my time. Let me know what you guys think. As always, hate, comment and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Sign it off. For more than 13 years, Jack Johnson was the most famous and the most notorious African-American on earth. He battled his way from obscurity to the top of the heavyweight ranks, won the greatest prize in American sports, a prize that had always been the private preserve of white combatants, then suffered persecution at the hands of his own government and years of exile before the title was taken from him. And he did all these things during the years which marked the low point of African-American life after emancipation. Abandoned by the federal government, denied the vote if they lived below the Mason-Dixon line, and living under the constant threat of mob violence, black Americans at the turn of the 20th century were no longer enslaved, but not yet truly free. Jack Johnson insisted on being free. When whites ran everything, Jack Johnson took orders from no one. While most African Americans struggled merely to survive, Jack Johnson reveled in his riches and his fame. When black Americans were expected to defer to whites, Jack Johnson battered them to the ground. And at a time when the mere suspicion that a black man had flirted with a white woman could cost him his life, Jack Johnson slept with whomever he pleased. To most whites, and to some African Americans, Johnson was a perpetual threat. Profligate, arrogant, amoral, a dark menace, and a danger to the natural order of things. The real Jack Johnson was both more and less than those who loved or those who hated him ever knew. Just remember, he told a young reporter not long before he died, whatever you write about me, that I was a man. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.